This is a really good question. Why did you start selling on another site instead of expanding your Amazon product line first? Brilliant question. The answer to that question is because our second product line is not yet ready, but we are ready to expand to other platforms. So we got to the point where we established our brand, where we were doing good sales, right? We're doing six figure sales a month on Amazon. We have good revenue. We have good profit coming in. So now we have the money to go over to Shopify. That's kind of the big kicker, I think, that determines when is the time to to launch Shopify. And I think it comes down to a budget question. If you're sitting on $200,000 right now, heck, you can launch Amazon and Shopify right now because you got money. You got money to run ads. You got money to, you know, go a year or six months without making any money back because you got a budget to play with. If you're starting this thing with five grand, you don't got money to run Facebook ads. You can't afford to spend $3,000 a month on Facebook ads and not make any money back. Your budget's going to be toast. You're not gonna be able to reorder inventory, right? So for us, that's what it really, that's what really decides when is Shopify time. It's not, oh, we have five products lines or we have this many specific SKUs, that was never like the benchmark. More the benchmark was when do we have the budget to do that? Because we knew we're going to have to run Instagram ads to get sales on Shopify. Like you have to do that. So in order to do that, you're going to have to spend roughly $2,000 a month minimum on Facebook ads, minimum. And in the first three to six months, you're not going to make any money. So do you have the budget? Do you have the profit, the cash flow to go out there, spend $2,000, $3,000 a month for the next three to six months on Instagram ads and not make any money back? And so so if you can afford to do that, then yes, go ahead and launch on Shopify. But if you can't, I don't think it's time. And again, the other reason too, just like looking at the brand as a whole, not necessarily like specific product lines, but the brand as a whole, once you kind of, and there's not, again, there's not like a set number revenue or followers. It's just, when is the brand? When do you feel that you've established the brand to where you have a following? Like we have an Instagram following. We have a customer base where we felt like, okay, if we were to launch on Shopify now, we have enough of an Instagram following 10,000 followers to where we can drive Instagram. Instagram traffic organically over to Shopify and get some sales to kind of counteract those Facebook ads. And then again, we're, we have profit coming into the company to where we can run those ads and, and get that off the ground. If you try to launch on Shopify too soon and you don't have the budget, you are going to be miserable. You're going to hate your life. You're going to be running like $5 a day Facebook ads, getting no sales. Uh, you're not going to be spending enough to actually optimize your Facebook ads or gather enough data to make good decisions. And then you're not going to have enough money for inventory. And you're going to, you're not going to know like, do I keep hundred units for Shopify? Shopify and 100 units for Amazon, but your 100 units for Shopify are not going to sell because you're not spending the money you need to spend. So again, it, it, it kind of just, for us, it was just like, we felt like, hey, we got the revenue, we got the cash flow, we got the brand established, let's launch on Shopify now. But yeah, we are, and and our other product lines just aren't ready. Like we've been working on them for over a year now. We are very, 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 very particular in about how our product is made and built and designed because we don't want to be just another Alibaba brand. Like we don't want to be another Alibaba seller. So, I mean, you think about the pets space that we're in, uh, there's all sorts of sellers out there selling super, super cheap stuff. So in order to, for us to go in and compete with all that really, really cheap stuff, we have to make sure our product nails it. We can't just go to Alibaba and make a harness or a leash or a collar or a bed or whatever dog toy and just throw it out there and save $35. Like it has to be unique. It has to be customized. So we are spending a lot of time and a lot of money to engineer stuff that is very unique to our brand that you can't just go and just buy an Alibaba. We don't want to be, we don't want to have that type of um, product or appearance, so.